ハッシュカルワクトアガランイギラウネガシカラクシシニャクト。マラゴウネオブルゴネウイシャウブルティ。Nalunak
Agalan Asi tagayom ang alat kaksibilyawik. Tagayom iyuk kay kairusungin yun buktak pao. Ara kanuhurik tayo ma ipingit pag. The bola is what we call kilamitang. And the kilamitang is made out of braided sinew tied out to some heavy bone which you could twirl. In my case, we're catching ducks. When we're out whaling, sometimes the ducks start flying. And they're good for duck hunting. You know, uh, if you're a whaling crew, you can't make too much noise, so you can't Use a shotgun for um, getting some duck soup handy, you know. So bolo was a really handy weapon to use for catching ducks. You know, the ducks fly in, you throw it up and tangles up the bird, and down they go. The scaredest I've ever been I was 12 years old. We floated out on a piece of ice uh, while we were duck hunting. It was a bluebird day, just clear blue skies. And there was three of us, myself, my brother, and my dad. Next thing you know, we see this dark, dark shadow on the ice. Uh, we look and it goes behind us. So we, we all jumped up startled and uh, my dad, he started running. We got back to the ridge there, the uh, the ice had fractured, cracked, and broke off, and we were floating away. We were we were drifting. <laughs> it was close enough to where my dad would have made it. He stopped and he thought about throwing us across, and if one of us was on the other side, we would be split up. So he stopped, and he just so happened to have a, a cell phone on him. Nine one one didn't pick up. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world, right there. Nine one one did not pick up. So he left a, a message because they record their calls. Once he had relayed that information, his cell phone died. That was the scariest moment I've ever had in my life. We were floating away and I thought we were left for dead. Uh, he kept calm during this situation. Uh, he's bringing out everything positive in this case. You know, I'm crying, my brother's freaking out. It went from clear blue to 
dense, dense fog. Within a couple hours, we heard the chopper flying around, so they must have gotten our message. We thought we were saved, and then the chopper sound went away. So we lit some of the sled on fire. It's plastic. We thought black smoke in the fog would create some kind of marker. Chopper pilot uh, had mentioned uh, when we got rescued, you could see a glow in the fog and he slowed down there and sure enough, as soon as he slowed down, uh, we got within visual. That was definitely the scariest moment of my life, was floating away and not knowing what the outcome was gonna be. We're very much aware of the climate change. And it's been for many years, even before climatologists were noticing the change, Inuit were already saying, Shila Alangoktok, our climate is changing. If the heat is going the way it is right now, for us it's going to be pretty bad. Different birds are coming, and they're coming earlier, and sometimes rain is more than what we want because when there's more rain, we know it's going to melt the permafrost. In my time as a young whaler, when I was nine years old, we're hunting from ice that was about 25 feet thick. And there was giant icebergs already floating, coming by. That was the first signs of a changing climate. Ice that never broke before was now moving. Now, here it is 50, years later, we're hunting whale from ice that's 18 inches thick. There's no more thick ice. It's creating a malfunction in our whaling season, is, is what it is. And actually, more than that, all seasons in general. I think we are more scientists than more people will realize. We have more knowledge of those things than people will ever know. <laughs> 